Hi, it's Lisbeth. Welcome to my channel. I am an author, speaker, and podcaster at Persistence You with Lisbeth. So glad you're here. This week, I very much enjoyed guests, the therapy twins. I had twin, identical twin sisters who were born in the early 60s, back when premature babies, and they were preemies, they were treated very differently than they are today. Preemies then were, if they're twins, sometimes separated as these two were. They were not given any touch. They weren't given any human contact and they just stored, sort of stayed in their very, very antiseptic, you know, sorts of heat and, you know, in their little places where they got heat and light and all the things but they didn't get what they needed most. And that was a rough start, both will tell you. Even though they can't remember the, the time of their birth, they both had very separate reactions to the trauma of not experiencing human touch time with their parents and being separated from one another. The first takeaway in this is really that children can experience trauma and acted out years after it happened, even when they were infants when the thing occurred. This is so counterintuitive to the way I was trained in psychology when I was getting my graduate degree back in the days, in the 90s. You know, we kind of thought that if kids were super young when bad things happened, they'd never remember it, they'd move forward fine. Whew, thank God they were too young. But we know now that even preborn babies and infants experience, can experience real stress and trauma and hold it in the body for a long, long time. So very important to know, look at the Adverse Childhood Experiences study in your search engine and look at information there on what kind of outcomes people can have if they don't address things that happened to them that were very traumatic because it can hit us in the health in the soul experience kind of emotionally so many ways it can shorten our life expectancy if we don't get support for too many toxic traumas not all bad things are toxic traumas but important to note even those early experiences can be troubling for children so listen to the interview these women are a hoot they use their humor they became therapists uh, they were nurses also, and then they started using their humor and wrote a book together talking about the very diverse ways that they experienced very difficult circumstances and how they've managed to get along despite their own huge, pretty huge differences in life. So check out the um, episode and I'll see you at the next, vi next video.